Hello and welcome to uh, Everyday Church's uh, weekly uh, devotions. Um, this week we're looking at Galatians 5 verses 16 to 26 and I'm deliberately going to keep this devotion video uh, pretty brief because while there is loads that could be said about these wonderful verses and this wonderful passage I want to give you plenty of space to reflect and confess and pray. I'm going to read through these verses uh, slowly and then just give you a, a few prompts, but then I want to leave you to have some time with God in prayer and reflection. Uh, so let me read Galatians 5 verses 16 to 26. So I say, live by the Spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the flesh desires what is contrary to the Spirit and the spirit what is contrary to the flesh. They are in conflict with each other, so that you do not do what you want. But if you are led by the spirit, you are not under law. The acts of the, sinful, uh, of the flesh are obvious. Sexual immorality, impurity and debauchery, idolatry and witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions and envy, drunkenness, orgies and the like. I warn you as I did before that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified this, the flesh with its passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking and envying each other. Now these verses uh, speak of the struggle that's evident in each of our lives. Our flesh is in conflict with the Holy Spirit. That is, too often our selfish desires clash with the Holy Spirit's work in our lives and his work in this world. Uh, Paul says uh, these sinful and selfish desires are obvious. Uh, check out what he lists again in verses 19 to 21. Sexual morality, impurity and debauchery, idolatry and witchcraft, Hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions and envy, drunkenness, orgies and the like. Do you recognise any of these in your life? Now be, be honest, this is a, a moment, this is time just between you and God. Do you recognise any of these in your own life? Now, allow the Holy Spirit to convict you. Now, if you believe in Jesus, then as you recognise and as you confess these sins, know too God's forgiveness that is yours in him. God doesn't want you to keep living in sin. He wants you to live a holy life. That's a life that's deep and rich and good. It is a life that's a blessing to others. And he doesn't leave you to attempt that all on your own or all in your own effort. If you believe in Jesus, then the Holy Spirit is active in your life. And he delights in changing you to be more and more like Jesus. Read verses 22 and 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. This fruit that Paul lists, that's what the Holy Spirit is growing in you. But I love Paul's encouragement in verse 25. Since we live by the Spirit, let's keep in step with the Spirit. Reflect on what this means for you today. Now, these are 
powerful verses and powerful promises. Uh, take time now to reflect and pray. Uh, don't rush. May God comfort and empower you as you turn to him in repentance and confession.